Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 7.0. So for this uh, is the first thing you'll get when you first uh, turn on the device and just choose your language simply and then go to uh, next. If you uh, are visually impaired or hearing impaired that is when you would want to go to accessibility to improve either the font or um, have some have a voice speak to you of what's going on. I'm going to go next and then we're going to turn Wi-Fi on. Now I do always recommend the first time you set up this tablet to have a uh, good Wi-Fi connection near you. You do not want to set it up otherwise. So. I'm going to log on to my Wi-Fi now. And then connect. Zoom in a little bit for you guys. And then once we're connected, we can go to next right here at the bottom. And then you have your date and time. Um, just select your area. Over here I'm at Pacific and then it should set to the correct time and date. And then hit, of course, uh, understand the terms and condition. And yes, that you do want it to you know, notify when it's updates because this will help in the long run for crashes and things like that so that your tablet can be approved. And then you sign into your Samsung account or create one. Uh, this just uh, makes things uh, work cross-platform, so I would recommend doing that. Um, of course, the next step is going to be uh, Google's uh, solution for that, which is better, but if you already have a, Sam a Samsung uh, one as well, it just uh, is, doesn't hurt to always keep everything synced up on multiple levels. Alright, and then once you enter in your username and password, then you go to restore, and not sure which one this is going to restore from. Also important to note, if you have some plastic uh, strips left over, you might want to peel those off. Um, Samsung tends to put a lot of these on uh, their tablet, so if you didn't get them all off um, when you took it out of the box, now might be a good time to start that while it syncs up everything. Because there's always a lot of those. As you can see, it does take a little while to restore some time, so just give it time. And so it's going to go from... We'll have it go from my... So it's only going to do the wallpaper it looks like. Nothing too fancy, of course. I'm just syncing up from my other tablet. And now we go into the Google part. So for the Google part, um, you do have a Google account or you do have to create one. This is really important because this is how you do sign in to um, your Play Store, which is where you're going to buy everything um, on your tablet. So this is very important to create one if you do not already have one. Since I do already have one, I'm just kind of signing in. And then I'm going to sign in. And then this will also tell you if you want to restore um, your tablet. This is uh, very important on here and keep everything backed up with your Google account. And now it's going to restore. Um, as you see, it can take up to five minutes. This might take a little bit longer, uh, but just something important to note uh, when doing this, it, it can take uh, a little bit more time. Hey, guys. Hey, how you doing? All right. And then um, you always want apps to be able to access your Wi-Fi. It just makes everything run smoother again. So I would recommend uh, selecting both these two. 
Sometimes an app won't work properly if it can't have your location or anything like that, so it's just good to have. And uh, like most of our tablets, you do get 50 gigs of uh, Dropbox um, uh, on here for free. So it is something nice uh, that Samsung uh, gives you. So uh, with pretty much all the Samsung tablets, you generally get this. So it's a nice thing. Some other tablet manufacturers have begun to do this too, um, but Samsung is generally the one that always has it. So uh, sign into your Dropbox if you do have one, like I will right now. And then once you sign in, uh, the main reason for Dropbox on here is that it can save up uh, all your photos directly um, through that. I do this through Google Plus, uh, that's just the way I like to do it, So, uh, but it's your choice in how you want to. I'm gonna skip this for now. And then now you are ready to use, so you are finished. Um, as you can see, it will start to load um, certain things, uh, especially from your Google account, which it's doing for me right now. So I see some things running in on the background. I see that my chat on has already signed in and it's downloading a couple of things from the background. So if I go to uh, my Play Store, I will probably see a bunch of apps downloading uh, because that's how Google's backup works. So as you can see, I have 73 uh, programs downloaded to the tablet automatically. And if you do back up your tablet and phones correctly, this is what you will have. So I'm back, I'm downloading all these things right here and now as my tablet is setting up. And that can take a lot longer, especially depending on your Wi-Fi connection. So feel free to uh, just explore your tablet in the meantime. If you guys have any questions about this tablet, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.